Today we're going to be showing you guys a PD that we just got from Whirlwind. It's part of their PowerLink series and uh, just wanted to show you guys how we set ours up, how good of a job Whirlwind actually does making these, and these Cyclone cases that they make, which we really like as well. So we'll start out with the case. They have the little placard on top where you can write whatever show that you're going to be doing. They put your logo all over it, which is super nice. The things are built extremely well very thick material just really nice and they include their pocket doors which I really like the pocket door idea so you just grab it open it and then the door actually tucks away inside which is really nice so that's the back we'll show you guys the front and they did really nice with the logos full color on the case itself so here's the front of it. We opted to get quite a few options that they offer. Uh, the light rack lit lighting kit down the front and the back. Then this is my favorite part. It not only meters it, but you can hook it up to a network and you can see it on your computer or your iPad or whatever device it is, which is really nice. And the lights are on each side, um, three phase power. We did the in and the out. That way we can hook up to other PDs and we'll just kind of show you a little bit of other things. But just to where you don't think we have some sort of weird voodoo going on, what I'm going to end up doing is just hooking up to uh, one phase with a suicide cable that we use to parallel some of our generators. So you can see when this guy powers on, it's got the nice LED lights. And uh, you do have control over those. So right now we're on dim. Max is intensely bright. And then there is a medium setting. So we'll leave it on max for a second just to show you the color mixing options. We're on blue. There's white. There's red. And there's green. So if we have it on red and we add blue, we can get purple, whatever color you want to do is fine. So we'll just leave it on blue and leave this where it's low intensity. So the way we set this up, uh, we kind of got them to do a very personalized for us panel. They don't even offer this panel. But we have the California twist connectors. We have three of those. And you can see they have their uh, 50 amp circuits here, which are nice. Each circuit is color coded for what phase it is. So we have black and red, which is gonna be your X and Y. And then we have L1430s on the front. So you've got the X and the Y, and it shows you what they are. So you're probably thinking, that's weird, you have three-phase power, but I don't see anything using the Z-Leg. We made this PD very versatile for a bunch of our shows because we never know, even if we advance the show and they say they have three-phase power, if it's truly there when we get there. So with this PD, if we open up the front, we can use single-phase power, and life is good to go. So we can just open up the front of this and we still have 50 amps per leg on that one, that one, that one, 30 amps per leg on that one, that one, that one. And then we have six 20 amp circuits. So for most shows these days with having LED lighting and hopefully having another service for power for that, this is enough to really get us going, which is really nice. So that's the front of that. Then we're gonna show you the back. So on the back, we utilize the three-phase. So if we do have three-phase power when we show up, you can see that we have six circuits there, six circuits there, six circuits, six circuits. So that's quite a few 20-amp circuits. Then we have L1430s that utilize three-phase and more California twists on the back that utilize the three-phase. And as you can tell, each one of them have their breakers clearly labeled, then our rack lighting kit that's on the back as well. So we're extremely happy with this thing. It's one of the cleanest looking PDs we've ever owned and we've had many manufacturers that have made PDs for us in the past and we just really like this. So the California Twist, I'm gonna show you what we actually use that cable to go to in a minute. But the first thing I do wanna show you guys is how we actually hook up using the network here. So I'm gonna pause it. We're gonna go ahead and let the uh, router fire up where you don't have to wait on that and then show you how we can view what's going on with our meters on any type of computer. So connecting this isn't terrible at all. You'll basically just go into whatever port 
on the back of as long as you don't run the internet, of course. And you'll go out of your remote network connection. And then if you want to figure out on this uh, what your IP address is, you're going to hold this mode button in and it's going to show you the IP address. So we got 192.168.1.200 with a subnet mask of 255, 255, 255, 0. So on this with the mode button, when you hit it, it shows you different things. So we've got Y to Z, X to Y, Z to X. And if you hit it this way, it's to the neutral instead of showing from leg to leg. So it's really just whatever you want to do and the neutral to ground. So we're going to go ahead and show you on the computer basically just uh, what you do to be able to look at what's going on, which is also very simple. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go choose the network that the router is. So we've got it connected and then you'll go up and you'll just type in what the IP address was. So it was 192.168.1.200. When you press enter, it's going to pull up basically the rack and uh, it's going to pull up every bit of the information that's on there. So it's really that simple. There's no app you have to download. Everything is built into the hardware, which is extremely nice. So it updates very often, so you can see real time as your amperage draw on each leg changes, which is extremely nice. If you go to display parameters here, you can change the colors, and then you can put, uh, I mean, it gets very specific everything that you can change on here. So if I wanted to make my amperage gray instead of yellow, you can see it immediately change the amperage up there. I'm going to get back to yellow is what I like. And then the refresh rate, you can change three seconds is definitely fine for what we've been doing with it. If you go to setup, this is where you can actually change your IP address and your subnet mask and it applies it. And anytime if you do change it, like I showed you guys, you can hit that black button, hold it for a while, and it's going to show you what the IP address is. So you can rename it. It's uh, just a really cool little system. So we're going to be purchasing a couple of other things from... Uh, Whirlwind PD wise. We've used their cables for years. We've just never tried their PDs and we really are liking this one. So we'll give you guys some more reviews and just kind of show you how everything works. But it's really nice. We've been using this with our RCF stuff. I'll include a picture of basically just kind of how we uh, utilized this while we were using RDNet. We we're able to fit this in and show you how little of amperage draw we were drawing from, I believe it was 30 something cabinets. It was just crazy. It was just seven amps per leg in single phase. So if you have any questions or if you want to make any purchases using some RCF or Whirlwind or any company, just give us a call. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day. So I told you guys we would show you what we've been using the California Twist for. So we do modify these boxes. If you open them up, it does void the warranty. Just want to let you guys know that. But uh, we change them to where it is useful for what we do. So we use a lot of L1430. So I open this guy up and I put L1430 connectors in. Uh, the breakers, very well labeled. We put tape on it because we're wanting to keep these as balanced as possible. So we have 120 amp, 220 amps, and then we have the th dual 30. So you can add that up in your head. That's gonna be 60, 80, and 100 amps total. So the reason we have number two blocked off, and then we also have it taped over underneath, so I'll show you where two is, is to make sure if somebody else is hooking up for us, that we end up having everything as balanced as possible. So in using this, when you do go in, it gives you 50 amps per leg. And then you have a neutral and a ground. So on that, we make it to where we can run off of our L1430 coming out. We can break that out to however many Edison's we need to, or we can get 220, so whatever you wanna do with that. But then with us only having access to one and three, we're not gonna draw more than this thing can actually produce. So realistically, we have access, if we do it correctly, to 100 amps off of each one of these boxes. So we throw one of these stage left, one of these stage right, downstage, we can put some upstage, and we have power everywhere we need without having to run a ton of extension cords. So we can come off, a lot of times what we'll end up doing is we'll jump out of this L1430, we'll have a special breakout box that we have, and we're able to give uh, 30 amps of power to six of the HDL26s or four of the HDL30s. 
and then we're able to do that with each leg of this so we're giving tons of juice up there they hardly ever use it anyway so we're fine and then we can run a pair of subs off one of these we can do another pair off the other one we're stage power so it just keeps us from having to run as many cables we can just run the one cable to this and we get so much power out of this and as we showed you before we ended up we have three on the front and then on the back here utilizing the three phase we have three more so we can put these boxes wherever we need to and they've just been pretty life-changing for us because the rcs stuff is truly so efficient we were running uh 36 boxes i believe the other day and it was drawing seven amps per leg which is really nice that means that we kept it very balanced as well because you definitely don't want to overload your uh, neutral leg coming in so it's just pretty nice. We like these boxes. We've really been happy with this PD and of course the RCF stuff. You've seen all of our other videos. We're extremely happy with how low of power draw those things actually have. So if you guys need any of these, we're not actually a dealer for them. We're just very happy with the way they've worked out. And they are uh, GFI protected and water resistant from, or supposedly these are actually IP rated, so you could just let them get rained on since they have the covers and everything over the doors, which is really nice. So just remember if you do open them up and tamper with them like we did to add that L1430, that you are voiding the warranty. But uh, this full tech stuff is made very well. I was very happy with the way the inside of it looked. Everything is certified and UL listed, which is nice, so. Just giving you guys a heads up of what we do, and maybe it'll help out a few people. So here's the picture I was telling you guys about, just how balanced that was. That was with a 24 of the HDL26, four of the 9006, two of the HDM45s, and also with six of the ART710s, plus everything else we had hooked up. So extremely efficient rig, and just very happy with everything.